It's nearly six years since Mike Benton's life was transformed by a kidney transplant. No one died to give him this new lease of life. It was the kindness of a stranger. Oh, hello, Chris. Great to see you again. Come Mike's in. kidney came from Chris Burns Cox, a man he'd never met. I got a kidney I didn't need. It's, it's barn door obvious, isn't it? Really. You, Not this, for everybody. You don't, well, it's, I hope more people will see it like that. You just don't need two kidneys. It's like winning the lottery. Better than winning a lottery, really, because you win your life back, really. And we met in London, and I bought him a beer. So, I mean, it's the least I could do, I thought. <laughs> After That's, his own donation, uh, Chris set up a charity called up, Give a Kidney to encourage others to do the same. And it's now about 80% of the public know about it. Chris gave to a complete stranger, but altruistic donors can also choose for their organ to go to someone specific, like a friend or colleague. In 2007, the first year operations were done, there were 10 altruistic donors. By last year, there were 167 altruistic donors. 123 of those gave a kidney, while 44 donated part of their liver. But according to this leading surgeon, altruistic donation has the potential to transform the kidney transplant service. Even accounting for um, the fact that some of them won't be healthy enough to do it, even if a small percentage donated, we could actually abolish the transplant waiting list in this country. This is Eve here. Who is Mike's transplant means he's lived to see the birth of his four grandchildren. I can do everything I want, really. And uh, it's, 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 it's like a rebirth, really. If it's a human being who's got a problem, if there's is suffering involved and shortening of life and whatever, I mean, get in there and do what you can. D don't dither, you know, you've only got one life and we should all try and do something for, for humanity before we finally die. This is my latest... At any one time, uh, nearly 6,000 people are waiting for a kidney. Now, Chris hopes his well, example will inspire others to find out what they can do to help those in need of a transplant.